Alright, hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome back to No Man's Sky. This planet sucks, so we're leaving. I guess, actually, woo. Did they reset the audio settings again? They might have. Either that or this game is just that loud? No? I swear I turned it down to 50%. I think this is right. Okay, I think every update resets the sound settings. Alright, so I was going to look at Hyperdrive. Move the Herox. Move this. We need to make... I want to make the Cadmium Drive. I want to make the Emerald Drive. Okay, so we can put that in. We need wiring looms. I can buy those. Okay, that's Pulse Drive Fuel Efficiency. Uh, let's see. And the Indium Drive, we need Emerald. Oh, you know what? I know where we get Cadmium from. Okay, cool. We just we just have to go to a red star system to get what I'm looking for. You know what? Why don't we do that? From what I remember, those usually had the more interesting things anyway. Let's see, what are you? Anything exciting? Solid? No. Alright. Let's just head to the space station. Grab the goodies. Uh... If I really wanted to, I could actually pull in the anomaly and get the extra inventory slots and associate other things. Which, speaking of, apparently the weekly anomaly quests actually have a storyline? I never knew. I wish they advertised that better. Because, like, that is something I kind of wish they pushed harder and made more apparent. And I guess, from my perspective, now I kind of wish that there was some way of, like, accessing the old ones, if there's no current way. Because, like, it'd be a bit of a shame to lose out on interesting story content. I, I definitely like the looks of this one better than what I have. Compare. So mine's A class, has 24 slots. <laughs> mm. No. And honestly, I can do better than that. Alright, exosuit upgrade. What can I buy? What can I even afford? How much is that? That's not so bad. I know I could get a tech slot or cargo slot. Boy, howdy. Let's get some generalized inventory slots, and let's actually go sell some of this stuff. I just realized I'm sitting on a a boatload of grabbage, and I might as well I might as well grab it. I don't actually want to grab the teleporter in this area. I probably don't. I don't. Th if I grab the teleporter, it remains linked. I don't think I can remove it from the list ever. I don't think I have a whole lot of interest in sticking around. Okay, so we want to buy three wiring limbs. Ooh, boy, those are pricey. All right, what do we got? They want dirt. Well, got a decent sell, sell price. Well, that's your repair kit. Oh, those are really good. Hypnotic Eye. The eye is cold, almost frozen to the touch. Nevertheless, it's impossible to escape the feeling it's somehow still alive. Extended exposure is not recommended. Do not stare back into the eye. Do not stare back. Do not stare back. And we also have a lot of relatticed arc crystals. Well, they have a demand for it. I'm just going to probably offload some of this junk. Highly pressurized, fleshy orb. One can feel it push back when touched. A flash of bioluminescence stirring in the inky black core of this mysterious object. Okay. Storm crystals. Crystals. A rare and highly valuable cluster of storm crystals. These crystalline structures thrive in stormy conditions and attract... Lightning strikes, becoming spectacularly luminescent when ionized. Found in extreme weather planets. Oh. Tarnished goblets. We do not want to sell my active void egg because that would be stupid. 
So here's where we can see if there's anything that was amazing price-wise. There's a couple that would sell well, but like, yeah, all things considered, I'm fine. All right, next up, we're in a Corvax system. What's up, Corvax? Okay, I oh, forget. Oh, I don't have any Corvax casings. Uh, request dialect help. I'm just going to talk to random people. This guy might not have something useful. Bargain for information. Offer the traveler everything I know about the species I've encountered for a price. They look disappointed. They do nothing more than turn away, but they seem deeply hurt. Well, that's unfortunate. I probably should have actually paid attention to what he was saying. Oh boy, this is a guy. And I think he's trying to sell his... Nope, he's not. Friendship symbol. There we go. Learning languages has never been easier in this game, and I really like that. I swear these guys are probably trying to sell their ships. But I guess not. Oh, boy, this is going to take some time. Plus side, I'm going to be very fluent by the time I'm done. Aye. Maybe a bit too close. Oh, I should check... See if there's any new character customization options that I haven't run into yet. That's another traveler, so don't care. Yeah, let's ju let's just utilize this while we're here. It's way better than running around on the on a planet. There we go. Uh, let's see. But yeah, I wonder if there's new new helmets. Oh, we've already learned from this man. Oh, there's a Gek. I know I can give... I have a gift for Gek, I thought. Dialect help. Alright. I'm just gonna learn as many as I can. Anyway, you... Let's see. Offer gift. Gek Relic. There we go. That increases our Gek standing. We should probably figure out where to get more of those at some point. I think we had barely have anything from Gek. So I'll just do trade. We learned the word for trade. Alright, good enough. Yeah, let's let's look at the character customization and see if we get more. Uh, let's see. Let's switch back to third person. I don't actually know if third person is better. I like it because I get to see myself and uh, let's see, we don't need that. Excuse me, I would like to I would like to customize. Thank you head. I think that one's new. I want to say these are new. Okay, let's... Okay, so there's the Corvax one. Let's let's just check heads. I hate all of these. What about the Corvax one? Maybe they didn't add any anything new. All right, let's just let's just go back to this. Maybe it's something I buy with Quicksilver. That is, a, that is a very real possibility. Alright, let's go back. And right. Pinnacle of Sleep. We want to... We want to specifically go in here. We've got the recharger. Perfect. Install tech. Install wiring loom. Perfect. Okay, so now we can go to red solar... R red solar bodies? Stellar bodies. How's my inventory doing? I have a bunch of Starship Shield modules. What I probably want to do is just sell them. Well, we'll do that later. Because, yeah, I, I'm not going to get much use out of a, a C-Class something or other. 
Alright, so let's do warp. No, you know what? I think the I think the solar Oh, hyperdrive has no fuel. Well, that's inconvenient. Okay, so I need to make some warp. Warp cells. <laughs> I vaguely remember how to navigate these menus. I kind of wish you just could skip straight to the antimatter once you've built the first couple. Because, uh, yeah, this stuff is cheap. I can make plenty. It's just a matter of time. Okay, there we go. There we go. That that should be enough fuel for a while. Whoops. And guess who completely forgot to actually fuel my my warp drive? Hyperdrive, there we go. It looks it looks like there is a higher tier kind of fuel. So that's something to keep an eye on. Is that where the, that's probably where the Atlas is. And Anshim is where my freighter is. There. I don't remember. One way or another, we kind of want to stay in the same general vicinity as this living ship. And the sooner, the sooner I can get that living ship, the sooner we can go back to just aimlessly wandering. But I, I do want to get the. I, I do want to get the living ship. I want to see how it goes. I want to see how it flies. I want to see if it's any good. All right, let's take a look. I think I've still got the audio settings maybe a bit too finely tuned. You know what? This planet actually looks really cool. Okay, and it does have cadmium. Pretty sure that's what we're here for. Let's see. Let's see if this is one of the proper new planets. It looks like it's got some neat bits. Could be volcanic. Nah. Still looks pretty normal. I I'm really looking forward to finding some of the wilder planets, and maybe I have to just go special places for it. I doubt I'm going to find anything interesting here. There's something green. Let's just land. We'll see if this is what I'm looking for. It's salt. Good to know. Gold deposit. Subterranean relic. Subterranean relic. Gold deposit. Salt deposit. Gold deposit. Pulpy roots. Cadmium deposit. Okay, there we go. We've got a couple in this general vicinity. That's a nice looking planet. I for something that is effectively just a endless expanse of Well, maybe not nothing, but crystals and well, I guess. No, 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 this is absolutely some kind of mineral deposit. Rabarite. I'm just gonna scan some things. It's worth good money. Yeah, 230,000. I... I might... What the hell? Huh. Oh, I thought that was going to be a worm thing, but no, it's a... Well, it's really stupid. Alright, so let's go find this. Oh. I need to remember to swing by a space station and see if I can get some more movement tech. Because, yeah, getting, getting a couple more of those... Movement speed things. Okay, this this is actually kind of cool looking. Uh, getting getting some more movement speed boosters would actually be a massive help. What is this stuff? 
Uh, it's just more inorganic. Nothing exciting. I will make it there eventually. I miss the old mod that I ha had a while back. That made it so you moved hella fast. There we go. Just summoned it there. Alright, cadmium. Terrain, terrain manipulator. Yep, alright, perfect. Yeah, so we'll just pick up as much as I, I can from this planet. I don't know how much cadmium we're going to need over the course of this entire anything. This is less than I was hoping for. That was a lot less than I was hoping for. Alright. Capillary shell. Let's see what this is. Huh. Interesting. Okay, another cadmium deposit. Another cadmium deposit. Salt deposit. Exaberry. Okay, well, I guess when in doubt, let's just keep going for this. At some point, I should probably put down the requisite stuff and start getting uh, vehicles instead of running around normally. But I'm lazy. It does feel like they overhauled the clouds to be better. They're getting there. They still look a little odd. But they're better. Peace out, nerd. You won't catch me. I'm the magical jetpack man. My weird booty wrap. It's still, like, years later, it still weirds me out. I'm actually kind of shocked that they didn't add more character customization and haven't added more character customization. Okay. So this is going to take some doing. So there, there's cadmium here. It's just in teeny little bits all over the place. Well, we'll end up with a ton of silica powder, which I guess I do need for things. I know there's like auto mining rig rigs that you can get down. I There's a couple of things that I might be kind of interested in in that regard, and I probably should look into it. It's just, for the most part, most of the resources that require extensive farming, like, you extensively farm them once and then you're good. I guess the smart thing would be get some mines down for basic things like ferrite. But can I do that? I don't know. I, I kind of would love to see them go a little full satisfactory here. Like, not to the same extent, uh, but, you know, get... Get some major conveyor belts, mining rigs, foundries, and so on and so forth that you really can automate. Automate? Automize. Ha. Ah. Words. Okay, cadmium over there. Cadmium here. Salts. Alright, next cadmium. How much cadmium am I sitting on? 356. That might be enough. Yeah, it's so convenient. Okay, so what do we what do we need for the Emerald Drive? Yep, we're actually we're good. So we have enough cadmium. I should probably have bought the extra wiring looms. Well, what do we think? Do we visit some other planets while we're here? Maybe. Sharded planet. Aggressive sentinels. I, you know what? Okay. Let's at least land on a couple of these. Now. Oh. 
It's all beyond these walls. We saw a world of death. We can take you there, should you not please us. Refuse. A miscalculation. Corvax will ensure it is your last. We should probably also get this thing some better oomph. Currently, I'm not too concerned, combat-wise. So far from my experience, I've been able to solo almost every dogfight that I've run into. How's my shield doing? Oh, they're doing great. Maybe if I had a really weak ship, but even then... Every time you kill one of these guys, you get, you get shields back. Like, the only times I've ever really run into a whole lot of issues was in past updates, I guess? Alright. So we're going to the Sharded Planet. I don't think any of these are going to be the beautiful paradise that I'm looking for, but... I'll look. Okay, where's my pulse engine? Magnetic resonator. Okay. Probably not worth going for until we know what those are. Ooh. Pulse drive fuel efficiency might not be a bad idea. What I really want is the pulse drive power. I can do two of those at least. Okay. Yeah, I'm fine. At least for a moment. Craft antimatter housing. Craft antimatter. Craft warp cell. Starship. I don't actually know if I care too much about this, but the less I have to farm, the better. Alright, there we go. So let's see what a sharded planet is like. What is that? It's probably a resource node. Well, it's... Whoops. It's very purple. It's actually... Aggressively pur purple. Whoa. What the heck is this thing? Holy crap. Look at this. Definitely a lot more mountainous. That's immediately obvious. It's egregiously purple. Glitching separator. Okay. Crazy critters. I'm still seeing mostly just rocky, nothing hellsc hellscape and not much else. Which is a bit on the limiting side. But I'll take what I can get. And let's just scan a bunch of these. Each one's worth... I mean, a decent chunk. Not all of them are going to make me money, though, unfortunately. Eh, maybe they will. Alright, so there's more cadmium deposits. So far, so good. Let's grab another glitching separator. Not fully sure what they're used for. I'm assuming they're just for selling. And cataloging. But who knows. Alright, so let's go back to our ship. This is a cool planet, though. I love these... These things. Just floating in the sky. And I think maybe if the rest... If the ground itself was more interesting to look at... If the ground itself was higher res, this is messy. <laughs> I would I think have a more enduring interest in sticking around. They're like cripes. This is I, I've i used the phrase aggressively purple before uh, but I, I think this planet absolutely takes the cake. All 
Alright, so do we... Let's scan the remaining planet see if any of the names sound particularly interesting. Gamma intensive planet. Interesting, not that exciting. And there's one more. Gamma intensive moon. So, very solidly on the okay side of things. What about the last one? Fissured planet. Okay, that. We'll do a flyby at least. I've got enough fuel for at least one more landing before we're going to have to just wait for it to recharge or recharge it manually, which I mean, I could do. I just don't want to. So let's just go back. The other thing I might want to do at some point is go back home to my base and actually take a look around and see if there's anything interesting there. There might be... I know they said that most of the new features are being added to newly generated planets, but some part of me wants wants to hope that I come back and there's just a giant, just crazy monolith right in the middle of my my base setup. Cause that'd be cool. Maybe, maybe. Oh, is that a moon there? No, that's an asteroid. Asteroid with gold on it. I need gold. Maybe I do. Whoa. Initial impressions based on what little I can see. Holy crap. This is the land where light went to die. Damn, I honestly cannot tell if this is supposed to be day or nighttime. I like it. It's a cool look. I'll probably land. I am definitely landing. Oh, it's one of these. There we go. We found a landing space. Don't ask me how or why. Weather. Thirsty clouds. Huh. I... This game is what I would describe as almost a screenshot simulator. To some degree, looking at all of this stuff isn't really, like, exploring past the base surface impressions is often not worth it. But that surface just glance of what I what I'm seeing here is so good. That it makes up for the, the lack of anything. Like, yes, truly there's nothing on this planet worth anything. But on the flip side, just being here for a bit is really cool. Like... Way to make a beautiful thing. And I would absolutely adore it if No Man's Sky got to the point where it had, like, the, the depth and the breadth that... Let's go with, uh... I mean, honestly, if you could get a number of these planets to look kind of like Destiny, I think I'd be super down for that. That would take some serious doing. Oh, man. I like the chromatic metal that's going on. Uh, pearlescent might actually be the better word for it.
Ah, Q and E to change the camera height. But just look at this place. It's wild. All right, let's get out of here. Okay. Now, I don't remember if there's a space station in this. But that's not a problem. If there's no space station, we just summon the anomaly. Originally, the, I was like, oh, shoot. Yeah, what do I do in this situation? But no. All right, let me take a look. Yeah? I don't think there's a space station around here. But the anomaly should have what I need, and if it doesn't... We can just, uh... We can just warp to a system that does have one. I I like what I'm seeing so far. And that's, that's always kind of a, a major thing for me. Aesthetics make the game. And it sucks, on one hand, because this game is... A lot of just very shallow aesthetics where you look at it and it's like, oh man, that's really cool. And then you move on. But at the same time, maybe that's okay. It's like ultra tourism. I would adore it if they had a lot a lot of crazy stuff like this. Like giant halls filled with who knows what. Okay. Is there a shop in here? I have no idea if there's a galactic trade terminal in this area. I've been in this place a bunch of times, but I cannot tell you if there is one. Oh, let's see. Optimized chrono capacitor. It looks nice. It's pretty bad. Well, at the very least, I'll buy the exosuit upgrade. I might just fly from system to system for a little while and max out my inventory spaces. Probably off camera, because that sort of thing is a fresh hell that I want nothing to do with. Com commentating over that level of drudgery is painful. Okay. I'm not seeing anything here. The one down here. Otherwise, we might just have to look around. Because I'm pretty sure... Yeah, Nexus just has quests. Oh, frigate fuel. Warp hyper core. Collect Hadal cores. I should really probably do some of these. And yeah, this guy is not a galactic trade terminal, but he does have neat looking things, so let's let's give it a quick ogle. University communal Universal Community Research Progress. Interesting. I should figure out how to apply one of these. Oh, Got it. Yeah, did they add more? It doesn't look like it, no. Okay. Well, that's a bit of a tragedy. I was really... I was really hoping they would. So these are appearances. Yeah. I swear I saw some neat looking helmets. Earlier. But I guess I haven't. Alright. Well. I think. I'm going to go looking around. It's a bit of a shame there's no galactic trade terminal here. Just like a really generic one that just sold wiring looms would be all I need, but it looks like I'm going to have to transfer to a completely different star system to do so. I guess I could do that real easy. I just have to go through one of these. Blech. 
That just means more load screens. I don't want load screens. Load screens are annoying. I crave the day where all games are seamless because that will be so nice. All right, let's do space stations. Hey, that's useful. We can actually go back to, so this is where my fleet is. Yazawat was the last system that I was in. So we could just go back to this one. Sure, let's do that. And then I might be able to work back to the anomaly if I want to. I don't necessarily care one way or another. But I figure... Well, yeah. We might actually just warp out of this place. We should have enough warp range to get to the uh, where my exotic ship is. I realize I should be focusing on finding newer planets, but... Oh, other thing. Real quick. Install technology. If I want to make th this... So we're going to need nine. Let's just, let's just do that preemptively. There we go. Not saying that that many thing. Really worth selling. Safe for rehousing inhabitable bases. Huh. So, that might be more of a... cosmetic thing. That you just put into your base as a decoration, as opposed to anything actually worth anything. Good to know, I guess. Uh, but, 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 but. Right. We were going to... Install tech. There you go. Wiring loom's done. So now we all we have to do is just find some emerald. And then we're good to go. Okay. Well, I guess I'll I guess I'll save. I feel weird for stopping early. It feels like I haven't done anything, but I mostly just looked at planets today. No, I definitely did stuff. Alright. Well, I guess with this, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you next time.